Hi, if you're looking for a great way to integrate some video discussion and whatnot into your classroom, and especially with Google Classroom, I recommend giving Flipgrid a try. Now, the version I'm going to look at here is just the free version. There's a lot of cool features that are available in the paid version, uh, but I'm not exploring that today. So you create your free account here. I'm going to go ahead and log in. All right, once you are in, in the free version, you get one thing called a grid. A grid is basically just an overall organization, kind of like a big class. Um, you are not limited to just having your students involved. You can have multiple students involved. They don't have to have accounts. They participate by using a code. So when you create a, a grid, you have a code automatically attached to it. Within the grid, you can have all kinds of different topics. So I'm gonna go in here into this grid. Like I said, I only have one because that's the free version. And let's say that I want to share this grid with my students. The first thing I need to do is I need to go over here to grid actions and I'm going to share this grid and I'm going to create an assignment straight into Google Classroom from it. This is why I was saying I like Flipgrid because it integrates so well with Classroom. Once your classrooms pop up, then you can go ahead and choose a class, anyone that you want to attach an assignment to. And I'm going to create an assignment here and I'm going to hit go. And then it pops up with the nice little features in Google Classroom where I can go ahead and attach it. I'm going to say, tell me about Flipgrid. And then this is important. You need to set a due date because if you don't set a due date, then the students can't submit from Flipgrid. I'm going to go ahead and assign this. And then I'm going to go ahead and X out. I don't need to view it as a teacher. And now my students have access to this Flipgrid. Now, I'm going to also create a new topic. I have some topics existing already. That's okay. I'm going to go ahead and create a new topic. I'm going to make the title Flip Grid Thoughts. They have a limit on a minute and 30 seconds because I'm on the free version. I'm going to say, tell me what you think about Flipgrid. And you have up to 350 characters there. You have a topic date. And then you can even do a video for the users to view. I'm going to go ahead and just record a video just for time's sake. Well, not so much time's sake, but just for fun. So I'm going to go ahead and record. Hey class, tell me a little bit about what you think about Flipgrid. And I hit that and I hit next. And it's going to play hey, it. Hey class, tell me a little bit. Hit next. And then you also get to do a selfie so they know who is posting. Sorry, I'm not very good with the selfies. Hit next, hit close. And now I have a topic video. Now I have this one as active. You can deactivate them at any time. The pro version or premium version, you can allow replies back. Um, and so that would be a nice feature on the free version as well. You can require email addresses. Uh, you can have the number of video views attached if you want. That's not really super important unless you have a lot of people involved. You can do video likes and you can also freeze the topic so students can view it but no longer record. Okay, so very cool features. I'm going to go ahead and create the topic. You can always adjust these later. Hit got it. And now this is what the students would see. Okay, so they would be able to see that it's active uh, and you would be able to see any responses that the students give here. Okay. Now, some options that you need to keep in mind is that you are able to go back and edit it. So at any time, if you need to freeze this topic, you can do so. Alrighty. Now, as a student, here's what I need to do. So as a student, I'm here in Google Classroom. I see the assignment right here. I can open the assignment and eventually I'm going to attach an assignment directly in here. So they can just click directly on the Flipgrid link. And I do have this password protected. I'll show you at the end where that's located in Flipgrid as the teacher. And here is the video. They click on the title to be able to see the entire thing or any responses. And I do have the topic moderated. So students can't just send to it. They have to have things moderated. And so now the students could watch this video Hey class, tell me a little bit about what you And the teacher does have three minutes to record. So you could do a three minute quick overview of something, get feedback, and then the students are able to add their own responses. And so when the student is ready to respond, here's what they could do. Oh, I'm terrible with the webcam, sorry. 
I think Flipgrid would be a great way for a teacher to pose a question about the topic. And then the students could tell a little bit about how they felt about the lesson, about their learning, could tell a little bit about what they learned. This could be used as like an exit slip and other students could view it. And uh, then you have all that different feedback. It'd also be a great way to maybe do some flip lessons from afar. You could have multiple classes involved, um, multiple classes from other parts of the country or parts of the world and they could participate in the information that's in there and then give feedback, give information, and all of the class would be able to view those videos. Very cool idea, huh? Okay, I'll go ahead and hit next. The student will then, I think, flip, get to preview it, and they also get to do their selfie because they like the selfies, okay? Like so, it's uploading my video. They will put in their name, and the email address is optional. You can make that force, by the way. I'll submit the video. I'm going to hit close. And it does not show up because it's moderated. Now, any videos that are approved will actually appear here. So I'm going to flip back to teacher mode and show you what that looks like. So here's the teacher. And they go to the grid. And obviously, there's nothing there yet because I need to refresh. So now that I've refreshed the screen, I can see it. And I can view this item here. I think Flipgrid would be a great way for a teacher to, and now that I've viewed it, it would be cool to be able to leave that feedback in here. That'd be fantastic. You can't exactly do that. You have to rely on Classroom to do that. And then you can make it active like this. Okay. Now, once it's in there, then I'm going to go back to student mode. And I could have activated it here, by the way, too. You can always make things active or inactive so students can view them. Uh, and so once it's in there, then what will happen is the students can then refresh the grid. It's going to ask them for the password. Every time you refresh, it asks for the password. You can turn that off, by the way, just side note. And then the students would be able to see any video submissions that appeared. I think flip. Now, on the paid version, you'd be able to actually give a text response. Uh, on the free version, you can just give likes. And this is what the student would do. If the student wanted to turn this in, they could easily hit the share button right here. They would scroll down and go down to the classroom button. They would find their class. And this is why I said it was important that you included a due date on the assignment because otherwise it does not show up here. I'll hit, tell me about Flipgrid. Hit go. It's going to attach it. And you would think that would be it, but once you've attached it, then what you need to do is actually view the assignment. So that way it'll take you right to classroom. And the student will actually need to turn it in like this. So what the teacher would need to do is go to classroom. They'd be able to click on done. They'd be able to see who's done. Click on it. It's going to ask for a password. That is a bit annoying. You might have to turn off the password for a bit while you're going through these. I think Flipgrid would, and they'd be able to see the work. Then the teacher could very easily give feedback from here. So if I wanted to give feedback directly to the student, I would just click on the student name. I would say, you did a great job and post it. There we go. And if you were having some sort of grade involved too, that's fine. Submit that, return it. Okay, now, one last thing. Before I leave you, I'm gonna leave you with a few thoughts. You're gonna to wanna to visit your grids. And just keep in mind, you can have students join this grid. It doesn't have to be through Classroom. You could have other classes join through this code. When they visit Flipgrid toward the bottom, then it allows them to put in a code. They'd be able to get right in there. And then what you wanna do is here in the grid, you wanna check your settings. I'm gonna to go to edit grid. And this is where you can make it active or inactive. You can password protect it, set the password. Uh, you can moderate responses. You can turn that off too. If you just want it to go and not be moderated, you could turn that off. Uh, if you don't want a password, you can make it that it doesn't have a password. You can allow share links if you want it to go to social media. But keep in mind that also turns off Google Classroom. So just keep that in mind. If you're wanting to integrate Classroom with it, don't turn that off. Okay. All right, and then you can also make it that it notifies you if you want. 
you could add a grid cover or you can choose one of these if you want choose that just for fun and update your grid those are some basics about the grid setup that you maybe need to keep in mind just remember grids are the overall container and then topics lie within that container all right so try out flipgrid try out the free version if you like it buy it